Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman, and thank you for having this important hearing. Um, uh, Mr. Chairman, I request unanimous consent to submit a letter in support of the Farmers to Families Food Box Program from the Topeka Rescue Mission Ministries. Um, you know, my question is uh, for Mr. Hodel. You know, the Midwest Food Bank is active in combating food insecurities across the U.S. and around the world and works with more than 2,000 agencies to distribute food. Within the U.S., the Midwest Food Bank's reach uh, spans both urban and rural communities. Definitely understand and appreciate that. And, in, and including those that look like rural areas that I represent throughout the big first district of Kansas. Could you tell me uh, a little bit, if you would, about your work in rural communities and how your organization um, you know, has adapted and is adapting to meet the needs of our, of our rural citizens? Yes, thank you, Mr. Mann. I appreciate the question. Um, the way our distribution model is set up, uh, we're, we're very focused on reaching the rural communities and a lot of that is done through remote or satellite distributions. And so we will um, we'll take semis out of our main warehouses and we will work with uh, other organizations, uh, other businesses, and, and bring that semi a load of food of both uh, frozen, cooled, as well as, as uh, shelf stable food. And we, we take that uh, out into the, uh, the rural communities and set up a remote distribution uh, so that it's closer and easier access for our agencies and our pantries to come uh, pick up the food. And so uh, we're, we're very proud of our effort uh, to be able to serve the rural community. Uh, and it's tied all the way back into our, our organizational roots and the, the focus on uh, the farmers and, and reaching back uh, into those communities. Uh, great. I understand you, know, you and I both grew up, I think, on a farm and in the production side of agriculture. Uh, and that side of the food supply. How has that influenced your work on food insecurity issues, you know, coming from the, the production side of, of, of the industry and now with what you're doing today? Yeah, I think at a macro level, it, um, you're, you're born and you're taught from your, from your parents and your grandparents that your job as a farmer is to feed America. And so um, in, in the nonprofit sector of a food bank, uh, you carry that heart of that mission uh, with you and uh, you know your job is still to feed America. And, and this is now, unfortunately, families that are falling on troubled times or, or somebody that uh, has lost a job uh, or whatever the situation might be. Um, it's still kind of that same macro mission that uh, was seated in you at a, at a young age. Um, so for me, it's, um, it, it's, a, it's an easy transition to go from with both the producer as well as uh, an organizational leader to make sure that that mission is fulfilled. And then you are helping somebody um, get fed um, just equitably and without discrimination. Yeah, well, I appreciate what you all do. Uh, you know, I represent the Big First of Kansas, a lot of, you know, farmers, ranchers, livestock producers who are trying to feed the world, um, care a lot about hungry people uh, throughout the country uh, in their communities and, and really appreciate y'all being on this panel and, uh, and serving with us today. Thank you. Uh, with that, Mr. Chairman, I yield back.